Greetings, everyone. Joseph James here with the United Newsletter, brought to you by the School of Trade.com. Today was July 30th, 2009. Finally getting out of the month of July here, halfway through the summertime, chop and slop. And, of course, before we talk about the trades we took today, I want to remind you guys we have a wonderful free resource online. Head to our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash School of Trade. And guys, when you're there, please take a time to rate and comment on those videos, guys. It would mean us. It would mean the, the world to us here at School of Trade. It'll help us spread the word about our services. So just drop us a comment and just click on that rating button when you watch those videos. Now, guys, today we brought 200 bucks in, went two for two in the market. We took only two trades. A very slow, choppy day. But as you guys know, in the summertime months of July and August, consistency is king. And as long as we're not losing money, making money consistently every day, and of course, this is only on three contracts. So on three contracts, 200 bucks, we're averaging about that 350 bucks a day right now uh, in the month of July on three contracts. So a little bit of a slowdown as opposed to our previous months where we were well over the 500, 600, 700 bucks on average per day. So of course, we're seeing a little bit of a slowdown. But again, big, the big thing here is consistency, right? I want to keep seeing consistent profits. We have had a losing day in the month of July in, in quite a while. So we're hoping to keep that streak alive going into August. Totals here today, 7,400, a little over 7,400 bucks USD for three contracts in the month of July. And let's talk about our term of the day. Our term of the day today is dynamic levels of support and resistance. Now, if you guys were with us today in the trade room, you saw these dynamic support and resistance levels. Guys, they were a pain in our butt pretty much all day today. And if, in fact, one of them almost cost me uh, a losing trade here. I was able to get out of the trade for a scratch, uh, but I wasn't paying attention to that dynamic level of support and resistance. Now, what are these? Well, as you guys know, the word dynamic, when it, when it applies to support and resistance, means these support and resistance levels are always calculating, they're always changing, and they move with the market by the tick. All right? So they're going to be moving averages, momentum indicators, developing value areas. Right? In other words, they are always being recalculated. Right? A moving average, every tick the market makes it will recalculate that moving average. So it's a good example of a dynamic level of support and resistance. We use these dynamic levels most often at our time of entry. And they're used to filter out right only the highest probability trades. So we know that when these dynamic levels of support and resistance are uh, interrupting the flow of our trades, right, or threatening to keep price from trading through its targets or getting into the trade for our entries, we, of course, look to avoid trades that show dynamic levels of support and resistance that are getting in the way of our profitability. Now we're going to use these dynamic levels across multiple time frames. And where you'll most likely see them in our live trade room is on our medium time frame charts and our slower time frame charts. So of course, the slower the time frame, the more important these dynamic levels of support and resistance are. And we want to really watch them closely while you enter a trade because they may have just recently changed. As you know, they're always recalculating. Now, this happened to me today, actually, in the market this morning. If you guys are watching us this morning, uh, our live trading room is up at 2.45, so come and join us tomorrow. But we watched as I was focused on price action, looking to get into a trade. And what happened was, is I wasn't focusing on the dynamic level of support that was slowly creeping up from the downside, getting closer and closer and closer to my potential entry point. Well, I was focused specifically on the time and sales window, right? Reading the tape, looking for the precise entry. What I wasn't looking at was this dynamic, right? Always recalculating level of support that was eventually going to cause havoc on my trade. I got into the trade and quickly realized, wait a second, I've got this level of support right below me now and I had to get out of it, right? Just shy of a losing trade. So these dynamic levels are important to watch them closely throughout the day, especially in and around when you're looking to enter a trade. They're always going to be changing. And here's an example of what one might look like as a moving average. As you can see here, this moving average acting as resistance, right? It keeps, the price will keep trading up into the moving average. As you can see, the moving average will keep continuing to calculate moving down. And then, of course, price will use that as resistance. All right, so a great example of how a moving average is probably one of the more important or one of the more commonly used dynamic levels of support or resistance. In this case, it's acting as resistance overhead. Now, of course, guys, we'll show you how we use these dynamic levels of support and resistance in our live trade room, so come out and join us. We open up tomorrow at 2.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Guys, the beginner's course is highly recommended for all trial members. Not required, but highly recommended. It's a great jump start to your three-week trial. 
We'll open the room tomorrow, 245, for trial members and lifetime members. Come on, join us. We'll trade the European session, open at 3 a.m. We'll trade the U.S. session, opens at 930. And, of course, we'll look to close things up at about noontime once we finish up the U.S. session. We have three jobs in the room, and that is to identify, adjust, and execute. We identified the news events and the type of market we see. We adjust to those news events, and we adjust to the market that we see. We then execute our trades using patience and discipline to wait for the perfect patterns to develop on our charts. Guys, I want to remind you guys to stop thinking so much, right? Don't overanalyze. Stop doing all that heavy lifting with your mind, right? Follow your rules. Our mechanical rules are intended to be used as a way of instruction manual, right, on how to use our setups. So as you guys know, right, stop thinking so much. We let our rules do the trading, and it's one of the most vital parts of our methodology is consistently following those rules. Now, guys, we followed those rules all day today. We were professionals at avoiding losing trades today, weren't we, guys? If you were with us all day today, we saw lots of different opportunities, but the opportunities were very low uh, probability, right? They were higher risk, sluggish price action, sideways price action, uh, overall lack of conviction. And here on the crude oil, we'll show the only two trades we took today. First here was at 10 o'clock. This is a two-step short at 07s. Now, at this point, we were looking for a break below 10s, but we had a very important level there that we had to wait for price to clear through. So we had some support here, right? It was a dynamic level of support on a medium time frame that was ultimately causing us to be uh, a little bit patient, I should say, getting below those 10 level, right? 65.10, I wanted to see break below that blue line. By the time we saw the follow through, we were in at 07s. We took profit here at 3, 6, and 8 for a total there of 17 ticks. Now, of course, we'll fast forward a little bit a little bit later on in the morning. Just, just after 11 o'clock this morning, as you guys can see here, we really didn't go very far. right? We were trading before at 65s. Now we're here above 66s, so we really didn't see much movement overall here. But guys, what I want to show you here is what a great example of how sideways markets can easily be traded with our methodology. This is our two-step setup. And the two-step setup, as you guys can see here, gave us two wonderful entries. I took the first one here, 11.04, for a two-step long at 25. That was a plus three scratch for a three-tick winner. And then, of course, shortly thereafter, about 10 minutes later, at 11.12, this was another two-step long here. Now, of course, I didn't take this trade. Back-to-back uh, -back trades like that in a very slush market going to be a little bit higher risk. So I didn't enter the market. But of course, you know it. Our members did. Members made great money on that. Three and six for a total of nine ticks. So what I want you guys to see here is, is just how powerful this methodology is at working with sideways markets. right? If you were looking at this market from a bird's eye view, it would appear to be very difficult to see any profit out of this price action. right? Up and down, no real new highs or new lows. But as you guys can see here, we do pretty well with sideways markets, and we'll show you guys in real time as part of our free trial. So here you go, plus three ticks, plus nine ticks there for a back-to-back two-step longs. Uh, add them all up, guys. I was up 200 bucks. That's 20 ticks on the uh, on the crude oil here. 200 bucks put in our bank account in a very difficult trading day. Guys, I would consider today to be a victory by all means, guys. Today was one of those days where if you were keeping your money in your account, it was a victory. We did a great job at qualifying the trades, going over our rules. It just so happened that only two of them really fit our rules, and we took both of them. Both of them are winners. Make sure to come out and join us tomorrow morning, guys, Friday morning. Remember, guys, last Friday was almost our biggest day of the month. Okay, so last Friday, the biggest day of the month, we expect tomorrow, Friday, to be a little bit slower, but you never know. All right, we may see we may see a great day uh, with some good volume. You'll have to come out and join us to find out. We'll trade eight different markets, live trade calls. Guys, plenty of opportunities for questions and answers. You're going to see the market in a completely different way, guys, and we'll give you free three weeks as part of our free trial. The beginner's course is highly recommended for free trial members. And remember, guys, we have a great free resource on our YouTube page. Head over to YouTube, and please rate and comment on those videos, guys. Drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. As always, my name is Joseph James. I'm the developer of the James Web Method of Trading. I invite you guys personally come out and join us tomorrow morning live trade room. We'll see you then. Hope the video helps. Bye-bye for now.